Can you hear the drum? Hello buddies, this is Hugo again. In this video, I would like to present you a tutorial about how to RC convert this compatible 90 font Tiger model. We specifically will also develop a dedicated RC kit to adapt this boat as a propulsion system. And let's get started. This set of kit includes two pump bodies as well as two propellers and uh, screws. Here we have a look at the brass shafting box together with the stainless steel shaft as well as the brass couplings at the mount and subsequently for the powerful motor with heat sink. Finally, we have a closer look at the propeller. Computer aid 3D design has well been applied on our initial project as could be referenced from the flow simulation we could see the result of the water is well been absorbed by the pump and inject effectively. Here we get started from the stopper to install the pump. Before the assembly, I have to well mix the epoxy which is quite essential for fellow steps. Now I glue the button of the pump. Just smear a little bit of glue to create a very thin layer. After placing it in the right position, then using two binder clips to fasten from both sides. Hours later, now I could feel free to remove the clips. We could see the cabin is tiny and clean. Subsequently, I could glue for the second round to ensure the pump with the hull is entirely waterproof. The approach of syringed epoxy is being introduced in my previous episode of Yamato RC Conversion Tutorial. In the current stage, I assembled the motor with mount and coupling beforehand, and we made a dedicated shafting box with just 6cm in length and a 3D paint propeller. Once again, the shafting box has to be glued before installing with the pump. And kindly notice as well, please don't glue too much epoxy, otherwise it may block the internal entrance of the shafting box. Before the epoxy get hardened, we have to quickly install the shaft, a 2mm stainless steel rod. This shaft plays a crucial role to calibrate the motor is in right coaxial precision with the pump. The same procedure could be made on larboard and we could temporarily dry assembly to ensure both sides is in balance. Closing to the final, I use a silicon-based thermal glue to place the heat sink on the motor. The key aspect of how the assembly is gluing the keel patiently for several times to ensure the button is waterproof. Before the rehearsal, I made sure the internal structure of my plan to start with the lithium-ion battery, which is our DIY approach battery, and its power supply, the ESC, the ES6 signal wire is well be connected with the receiver. And you can see the M1 and M2 is controlling the motors on lovers and stubbers respectively. And now we could switch on the controller. Checking my label is in right channel. Fellow steps should be power up the ESC after hearing a beep. We could check the basic function of accelerating forward and reversing as well as turning left and turning right. Kindly notice please try to assemble these nozzles and remove them before the voyage. 